Hi, everybody. I want to pass along a really interesting short six and a half minute video that was passed along to me by a subscriber whom I want to thank. This is about Centralia, Pennsylvania, how it became a ghost town. It was a thriving mining town in Pennsylvania at one point. And, uh, well, it has become pretty much a ghost town. There's an article that I was reading. It's, um, what is it called? I live in, I live in Centralia, Pennsylvania. It's America's creepiest ghost town. What is interesting in this video is they go into Fort Detrick in Maryland and once again, it reveals what our military is capable of, the biological testing, and yes, they mention they were experimenting with mosquitoes, weaponizing mosquitoes, weaponizing mosquitoes with yellow fever. Yeah, well, I'm not sure because this uh, clip does not explain the connection between Fort Detrick and Centralia, Pennsylvania, though it also mentions how Fort Detrick was poisoning waters, and people getting cancer. Yeah, this has been going on for a very, very long time, and that was in the late 60s, early 70s, so... Yeah, our environment is thoroughly toxic now. So this article, which I'll link to as well, Ghost Town is not perfectly accurate because a handful of people still live there. It was a thriving mining town. The land beneath it is honeycombed with mines and tunnels, and fires spread all through them. Smoke is just coming out from the ground. Sinkholes appear. People have died. Uh, you've got to watch your step where you're walking because the ground seems level, but you could just fall into a sinkhole. Uh, people have died and animals have died. Deer, and cats, and yada, yada, yada. Neighbor's cat. Man, oh man. This is Centralia, Pennsylvania. Smoke arising. Uh, people refer to it as hell. Uh, Satan's land. Life in a ghost town. Interesting. So, what is not mentioned in that video which I find interesting because one guy at the very beginning talks about how it's just such a mystery. It seems like um, here they have these aerial shots. 1970, June 23rd, Centralia, Pennsylvania. And you see a lot of the houses and the roads. And then it goes to uh, April 1999. And nature seems to be covering it up, June 2017. And this guy says something about how, you know, it's like nature just fought back and took over this town. No, the government. The government. Centralia was, the zip code is gone. You can't get mail there. Um, the government literally uh, condemned the entire town of Centralia and ordered people to leave, and then some people didn't leave, and then the government, <clears throat> the governor of Pennsylvania, took over the town, eminent domain. Um, in 2009, the governor announced that all holdouts would be evacuated for their own good 
yet there are still seven people living in Centralia. In 2002, the state took away the zip code. Um, what has been happening is that the state has been planting over. They have been taking down the houses and planting trees and plants and that's how nature fought back. It wasn't such a mystery. Yeah, so 20 years ago, uh, Jack pointed out Centralia was emptying out, emptying out. The town still looked more or less like it always had, but over the last two decades, the state government has been doing its damnedest to wipe wipe the town away. As soon as they bought houses, they tore them down and covered them with plants. Then they took out as much of the foundations as they could. Uh, they removed the lip in the curb. So that's how nature came back to Centralia. But it's really, well, I don't think creepy is the word. I think what this video explains, the nefarious experiments conducted at Fort Detrick might have something to do with emptying out this town, Centralia. Anyway, watch it, please, and, and comment below. Let me know what you think of this. You know, considering what we're living with Agenda 2030, weather being used as a weapon to take out entire towns, and then uh, due to the flooding, we have FEMA going in and buying up towns to bring those towns back to nature. Well, I'm not saying that this was part of the Agenda 2030 plan, but it's a good way to get a town erased from the map. Anyway, let me know what you think. Ciao, guys. Have a great Sunday.